Welcome to Life Cycle Assessment. This is a course about how to improve decisions about products and processes. The course number is SA.680.855. It's easy to forget what impacts lie behind products bought and sold on the market every day. For example, how did the groceries you just bought arrive at the grocery store and how exactly were they produced? Decisions leading up to the purchase of a product affect business, government, and civil society, and that means you and me. There is a way to understand these impacts. Life cycle assessment is an internationally recognized tool that quantifies the environmental burdens of a product or process from materials extraction through waste disposal. It's often referred to as a cradle-to-grave approach and sometimes even cradle-to-cradle. -cradle. This tool is widely used by businesses, government, and civil society. So it will be useful for students who really want to make a positive impact on the environment, regardless of whether they want to work in industry, public service, or the nonprofit sector. Just to help you start thinking from a life cycle perspective, these images reveal where your gasoline might actually come from. Even behind the purchase of an LED light, there are many processes that could be improved. Each and every one require energy and other material inputs. And that's before it even reaches the store. But how consumers use products and the choices that they make really matter. Among these choices that consumers and industry make is what to do with the waste. Decision makers can choose to put their waste into landfills or to recycle such that waste streams are reduced. Each of these decisions makes a difference to the life cycle impacts. So decision makers are left with choices that impact not only the bottom line but also the environment. In this course, you will learn to answer their questions with a defensible and internationally recognized approach. Not only will you learn about the Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA, method, but you will also learn about famous studies that have made a real impact to decisions. You will also have the opportunity to undertake a Life Cycle Assessment yourself on whatever product you really care about, professionally or personally. This will be under the mentorship of a professor who publishes in the field. That's me. We will go through the stages of LCA methodology so that you can use it in your careers. Goal and scope definition, inventory analysis, impact assessment, and interpretation of the results. Don't worry, I'll explain these in the course. Classes will be structured to help you gain hands-on experience in addressing life cycle problems. And there are lots of applications. In business, life cycle assessment is used for improving decisions about products and processes, strategic planning, and also marketing. But it's also used in government, for example, public policy, regulation, and in many other ways. Students will be graded on four small assignments, a one-page proposal for a course project, a presentation on their project on the final day, the final project, which will come in the form of a report, and class participation over the semester. The small assignments will help you get grounded in the mathematics and the method, and I'll be available to meet with you to help you on the way. The one-page proposal will be due in the middle of the term. It will help you decide what LCA you will do and how. You will have the whole semester to build your life cycle assessment, which you will present in the last class. The final report will be due a few days after, just in case you have any additional feedback to take into account. This course will be taught for students with any and all academic training. That is, there are no prerequisites for the course. 
If you're interested in learning more, you're very welcome to contact me to discuss the course while you're making your decisions for the semester. Feel free to email me at the email on the screen, and I'll be happy to send you along a syllabus or to discuss the course in person further. Thanks for your time, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.